guard from Duke. Surprised that they took him after trading for Manny Ramirez, but I, I'm a huge fan of Lakin Tomlinson. I really, really like this pick. Um, he, you know, he's my number seven offensive lineman. Uh, he, after Brandon Sheriff, he's my top guard in this draft. And he is nasty. I mean, you know, I know who I compare him to. I compare him to uh, to Larry Warford. So you're gonna put Lake and Tomlinson at the left guard spot. You have Larry Warford at the right guard spot. You got two just dominant mauling run uh, monsters out there. I love this pick. And I know he's not a guy that was projected in the first round, um, and and he's not a guy that's played left guard. So that's a little, I'd be a little hesitant there, but. I think he's one of the most dominant power run players there is. And we've seen Detroit move to that power run scheme a lot more with Swanson, with Warford, with Reef. Uh, I, I think Lake Tomlinson fits in perfectly. Super high football IQ, super high off the field IQ. Uh, I even wrote my scouting report. I, I referenced Larry Warford and I, I don't make comparisons very often. So is he going to pull for you? No. Is he super athletic? No. But he has great leverage, great lower body strength, great upper body strength. I mean, Lakin Tomlinson is nasty, nasty and smart. And when you have that combination, um, that's that's how Detroit's turned it around. As they've taken those type of players like Larry Warford in 2013. Uh, I, I think I think Lakin Tomlinson is super super smart, um, s- super determined. I. I, I don't know how you stop Drake Bell. I mean, I, 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 think, I think these two guys are going to be crazy together. So uh, I really like the pick. No Tevin Coleman, WMD. But uh, Tomlinson is, uh, assuming, let's, if we want to say Brandon Sheriff is a tackle, Lake Tomlinson is my, my top guard in this draft. 